How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get Lady Butterfly's kunai in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So for those of you who maybe haven't fought Lady Butterfly yet, she's one of the bosses of this game and when she throws the kunai, the kunai are followed by a trail of butterflies that damage you, or in this case, they're going to be damaging the enemy. And after finishing my first playthrough, I would say this is definitely the prosthetic tool I've used the most and I've most enjoyed using, and it seems a little bit overpowered in certain situations, even against some bosses, as very few of them block the actual butterflies themselves. Even if they block out the kunai, normally they'll start sprinting or attacking immediately afterwards, and the butterflies hit them full on, doing quite a bit of damage sometimes. So with that said, let's jump into how we can actually get the Phantom Kunai, they're called. Well, we can technically get them very early on in the game. However, realistically, we're not going to be getting them until a little bit later. So in one of the first areas called the Ashina Outskirts, we're going to reach the Stairway Idol. And here, if we turn around and backtrack just a little bit down here, we'll find a merchant. This is the NPC some people have been comparing to patches over the internet, and he'll ask us for 50 gold to get his business up and started. If we decide to give him the 50 gold and then rest at the Idol and then simply return immediately afterwards, he will start selling us stuff. And one of the items he will sell us for 3,000 coins is going to be the Phantom Kunai. This is why I said you may not be getting this too early, as 3,000 gold is pretty expensive for this stage in the game if it's your first time cutting through the Ashen Outskirts. And unfortunately for us, even after purchasing it, we don't just automatically get this upgrade. We need to go back to the Sculptor at the Temple, and we need to follow a certain upgrade path as shown here above until we make it to here. And we obviously need the previous abilities in the branch, even if we're not interested in them, to be able to reach the Phantom Kunai upgrade, which is the second reason you're most likely not going to be doing this very early game, as we need quite a few upgrade materials to be able to get this far into the tree. So it can be a little complicated to get, depending on how far you are in the story. And even though I haven't fully explored all of the different upgrades at the moment, I will say that so far from the ones I have tried, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is definitely my favorite one and the one I've been using the most. So I would definitely recommend picking it up when you get the chance to. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.